Good afternoon, it's Tom Wheels here from One Marine, and today we're on something a bit different. It's a Sea Line SC42. And if you haven't been on one of these before, you'll be amazed at the amount of room and the amount of beam on board this boat. So let's turn the camera around. And due to our ongoing <laughs> season here of spring in the UK, I'm having to start this video in the cockpit because it's not very nice outside. However, by doing that, you can start to get an idea of just how much volume is in this boat. Now, at the back of the boat, as soon as you come in, I'm just gonna show you here from the door. So this is where you would enter the boat. As you come in through the door here, you've got this huge C-shaped seating area, which is absolutely vast um, at the stern of the boat. And that's got a huge fold out table as well. So it's in this folded position at the moment on that side, but obviously then you can fold it to be that side as well. And interestingly, this section of seating on the port side actually slides outboard to make even more room here and then give you the ability to look aft through the stern of the boat, which I really like. The boat itself, as you can tell for a moment, is in great condition. We've come on board today to take some photos and it really is in superb condition. We've got everything you could possibly want here. We've got these really nice side door access as well. So you've got these um, covers here, which you can unzip, and then you've got really nice access to the port and starboard side decks. So you can see here, I can very, very easily just walk up through here, up onto the side deck, and then you're up here, and it is just super, super easy. Um, there are some um, rise and fall backrests here for the sun pads as well at the front, which is really nice. And then you've got a huge windscreen sections there, letting so much light back into that saloon. I'm just going to take you back now out the wind. Hopefully our audio is a bit better today because a couple of comments on our last video was that our audio was quiet. Um, we think we've ma accidentally made the wrong adjustment on something, so apologies on that, but hopefully it's improved. So. If I just show you what else we've got here before we go further forward, interestingly under here, we've got a LCD or LED television. So you can actually put that there and that television then pulls forward to give you a better viewing angle. But you can sit here in the cockpit and have a television out there, which is just brilliant, really nice setup. Underneath here, you've got the main battery um, turn on switch in there. And you've also got your manual extinguisher pull. And in there, you can see all nice, neat and tidy. You've got your manual bilge pumps. On the starboard side here in this huge wet bar area, we've got an electric griddle plate, nice size sink, actually a double sink. I don't think I've ever seen that on a wet bar before. And then underneath here, you've got a fridge and then some more storage underneath there. So all in all, very, very practical. Um, you'll see the teak is lovely condition as well. So you've got engine room access through there, um, but it, you can see the teak itself is in really nice condition. You've got an electric socket, 240 volt socket tucked in there as well if you wanted to. And if I now just take you further forward, up at the helm, we've got this electrically open roof, which we haven't opened fully today because of the weather. You can see it's bright, but cloudy and windy. Um, but you've got this really nice arrangement of four helm seats up at the helm. So you've got two Kylie pilots that side, and then you've got the twin system this side. So up at the helm itself, we've got um, the IPS joystick, which is just neatly located here with the throttles and the wheel. Um, I've actually moved this boat a couple of years ago for the client and it's it really does hand work for the IPS nicely, all up to spec service wise. So the IPS is working really well, but it's a nicely located joystick. You've got the Volvo Penta uh, trim tab section down there as well. And then you've got all the engine instrumentation. So all nicely laid out. And with those screens I mentioned a minute ago, you've got that amazing visibility forward. And you might spy those uh, skylights there, letting lots of natural light down into the cabin space. So we'll go down there in a second. Autopilot down here, and obviously all the switch gear then you'd expect, and the sun covers we've just taken off for the video. So yeah, a very nice position, and I like this uh, just manually operated starboard side door, a window as well, which is just really nice to be able to speak to crew. Um, and it's a good size actually, it lets lots of natural light and air in there if needed. Port side with huge storage lockers, which are in there, are lots of the owners bits and pieces, but nicely positioned, and a couple of cup holders up there as well. Just going down into the cabin space, really nice, wide, gentle steps coming down here. And once you're down here, there's so much natural light. I mean, that window is huge. There is a really nice blind which pulls over there. So if you do want to make this area a bit more cozy or more, priv more privacy, you can pull the blind over. But that does let lots and lots of natural light into here. And once you're down here, typical sea line, lots of practicality, lots of storage. You've got this nicely, 
a setup control board on the starboard side as you come down and you can see here it's all nicely labeled we've got a battery charger working at the moment as well the boat's got an inverter so um, we've got an inverter on board and the generator so it's great to have those two functions if you're going to use this boat for going further afield visiting places like Solcombe, Falmouth um, or the other way um, up towards the Solon it's great to have the ability to be more self-sufficient on the power side of it the galley itself Again, really nicely laid out. You've got lots of storage, you've got a nice big storage cupboard there. You've got underneath here a twin gas hob, which is again gives you that ability to be able to cook without using power. The galley sink, and then lots of storage above here. Um, he says, can't open that one. I'll do that one in a second. Um, you might spy the Eversparker controller down there. So you've got an Eversparker heating um, both for the, the saloon space and the cockpit space, which I think is a really nice setup for the UK for UK boats as well. Huge drawers there for your crockery. And then spotting forward, you've got, what we often see with some sea lines, you've got this twin arrangement. So you've got a completely separate shower room. So that's really nicely done with a teak floor and the, and the wood seating there. And that's a really good sized shower with a pull round curtain as well, which has got ensuite access to the forward cabin, but also day access back into the main space. Starboard side, we've got a really nicely arranged WC there with a nice size sink and electric flush loo. And again, that works the same. So you've got this day head access this side, or you've got the uh, ensuite access from the forward cabin. The one thing I think really does stand out on this boat is the lovely access into this forward cabin. So with those double doors here, you've actually got, if I just close those for a minute, you've got a very grand sort of master cabin access with through those double doors, which really does give you a sense of space and also practicality. So when you're using this cabin, it's actually quite nice to have that bit more room getting in and out of it. As with the saloon, we've got this huge skylight on the ceiling there, letting lots and lots of natural light into this cabin. Television there on the starboard side and then quite a lot of hanging space there as well. But yeah, a really nicely laid out practical cabin. And as I mentioned, you've got ensuite access both to the shower and to the WC through those doors there. If we just slide slightly further off now, go back past that galley, which as I mentioned is very well equipped and you're into the aft cabin. So the aft cabin at the moment is set in a double arrangement. Let's turn some lights on for you. Um, and you can make this into a twin room as well if you want to. So at the moment it's set up as a double, which is really convenient and it's a good size actually but i can walk in here and i've still got head height all the way over to that wardrobe space so it's it's a good sized cabin that and for a 42 foot boat we've also still got an ensuite room in here so it's a enclosed shower there with a wc a nice sink there um, but it's all not very nicely done and there's a lot of space in there um, for the size of boat if i just come back now round to the saloon i'll just give you another quick look round in here and it really is quite a Amazing that this is just so much room on board this boat. Got some speakers up in the ceiling as well for your audio. See that other Eversparker controller there. And I'll just take you back up into this cockpit and you'll again start to see. I mean, just look how many panes of perspex are in, a, in that rear cover. It's just huge. Um, really interesting to see, to be fair. Um, I will take you into the engine room in a minute. I'll just take you outside first and give you the once around on the exterior of the boat. It's got a huge uh, bathing platform on board here. So we've got a um, a rib on here with a Suzuki outboard, which is included in the sale, but we could have a conversation with the owner on that. Um, but it shows you what you can put on the back here. The boat's called Selavi, and she's based here down at Torquay Marina. We haven't had her washed off, so she's literally as we found the boat today. And you can see just in what great condition she's in. She's nicely positioned here. You have to excuse the blustery weather. But um, got some good cleat arrangements where well. you've got two midships cleats here, which is nice to see. And she's not too high, she's, she's reachable, you know, she's easy, gonna be easy to crew for this size of boat, which is nice. Obviously electric anchor winch, you can see the anchor just sticking out down there. And it's got a very modern feel about this boat. It does feel very modern. Um, like I say, she's a 2012 with IPS 500. Uh, just take you around and look at the port side. Um, as you can see, she's well fended up there. Um, we have had a pretty windy winter here in the, in, down in the West Country, but she's well fended up and as you can see in great condition you've also got some pop-up cleats here you might just spot those on the stern of the platform um, i like the way that that shore power lead just tucks back into that box there which is nice and you can start to see an idea of where this port side seating section moves over because you can see the seam in it there to come back into the cockpit for a minute and escape that weather let me just find the keys for the engine room um, we did a video and the client has very kindly given us some feedback that he likes to see the engine room. 
So I'll just unlock that, which is quite nice for you to see. Sorry, it was actually locked and locked. So let me just open that now. Just jump you down there into the engine room. So you can see here, she's like I say, she's IPS 500, which is actually a D6, a Volvo D6 engine. The build is all nice and dry in there, nice and clean and nicely arranged. So you can see the owner's got some fluids and bits and pieces, wash kit down there. But it's all in very nice condition. Um, I have to say, Sea Learns often one of the boats we find with the driest bilges. It's always been the case. Um, but that's a very nice dry bilge in there. Um, and it all certainly looks in good condition. Um, if you'd like more interest, information on the service history of the boat, please do get in touch. Um, but that gives you an idea, a quick overview of what's in there. You can see the Fisher Panda generator just tucked down there in the corner. But yeah, all very clean and very tidy. I'll just shut that back down again. It's quite nice to be able to lock these because if you do want to put anything in there like bikes or some more expensive kit, it's quite a good place to hide, hide things out of the way. Um, so just lock that for the over there. So yeah. I think, hopefully, that's a bit different, something a bit different you have, may not have seen before, a boat you most certainly may not have considered. It's certainly something that I've been very impressed to see, and, and having moved it, like I say, a couple of years ago now for the owner, it's, it's certainly a lot of boat um, for the size of it. And if you're going to have a boat of this size in the West Country, why not get something like this? It's got so much entertaining space and so very comfortable to be on board. So thank you for watching. You know what I'm going to say. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate all the latest subscribers we've got. Keep watching, hit the like button, drop us a comment. And if you'd like to arrange to see this lovely boat, our details are below. And we hope to speak to you soon. Thanks very much.